She can't do that. Shoot her or something. This is only one Kenobi here, only one. If you're not familiar with my channel, I like to start with a quick impression. I couldn't think of anything that tied in with the Geonosis uh, arena, but that is probably one of the funniest things you're going to hear Newt Gunray say. Quite a funny line, that. <laughs> with a little bit of a rivalry between him and Amidala. Anyway, what I want to talk to you today about is getting back on track with my channel. I started my channel to, to do one thing and one thing only, speculate about the future of the Vintage Collection. Top or hot news at the minute is the Vintage Collection. And they've had all these figures that they've announced, but uh, check my previous video on that. A lot of it is forecast to be Force Awakens and Rogue One and even Last Jedi, but you know... Uh, what one figure I want to see is uh, for the Attack of the Clones line is the uh, Count Dooku without question. But I was thinking about this the other day. I'm covering this because I want to give you the illusion that you can see what this card would be like in the future. It's the Battle Droid. Now, um, the regular Battle Droid with the Geonosian, pa Geonosian paint, well, the red paint that camouflages in with the arena and that landscape of the red kind of planet. You know what I'm on about. But um, I, I just was looking through my my my, my droid box. I've got it all categories of boxes of my loose figures and I came across this guy and I did want to do a review or talk about him before uh, some guy actually commented on my one of my videos saying they wanted a battle droid if you are that person I can't remember who you are I didn't get to look into it but if you are that person please comment again but yeah here he is this is the Geonosis battle droid which is uh, a repack of the vintage collection unprepared moment today the vintage collection battle droid for the Phantom Menace line uh, basically what happened was um, this figure was released in the Vintage Collection. There he was. This one got released in the Legacy Collection Builder Droid, the line that got discontinued that you could only pick up on Amazon. This guy was in that, but he is a 100% repack of this guy, albeit he's different colour, so they've used a different plastic to give him that Geonosis look. So I wanted to do a video on this, not because I desperately want to see this released in the Vintage Collection, but I just thought about cards they could release potentials. Uh, I think that repacks are a good idea. I know that a lot of people will not like repacks because it's a figure they've seen before, but in terms of myself wanting a card, a brand new card in the Vintage Collection, and thinking of like another idea for an Attack of the Clones character, you could certainly have, and, and also given that they've already had a Super Battle Droid, I think it's potential that they could put this guy on a vintage card what do you think I mean there's tons of ideas the longer my channel goes the more ideas there's loads of ideas so that's why I want more subscribers hit that subscribe button hit the like button and uh, share what you think you might not want this in the vintage collection but I think it would be a nice idea what else was I going to tell you about this guy nothing much more other than I have two other ones that were from this one was for movie heroes this mold goes back a long time probably back to the Phantom Menace era I don't know, but it's only got a swivel head and not much articulation. This guy came with Mace Window in a five points of articulation mission series or battle pack thing. But this guy is amazing. Great articulation. I've got him on double. I've got a stand here, but I've got him stretched out so he's on both pegs. But, you know, the, you can do a lot more with this uh, than any other battle droid. The articulation is excellent, basically. To cut a long story short, in fact, going back to when the Vintage Collection, I discovered it. it was on sale or happening. It was 2012 when this line was out and I saw this and I thought, why would I want to buy that? I've got loads of battle droids. But actually, if you are somebody who wants a battle droid, then I do recommend you get this one. It's a decent figure. The articulation puts it way above any other battle droid, as does this one. It's a, it's cousin, should we say. Uh, that's all I really want to say. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and let me know if you have any more news on the Vintage Collection that is coming this year. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. Boom.